the Serious Kaku Demon here. Uh, I'm really late uh, updating uh, another episode of the Talker of Nafir's Reign, Invasion of the Dark Mistress. So I'm doing it now. This commentary is not live, I'm afraid. And the character I'm using today is Mac and Shankara, as she stated already. Mac and Shankara is actually one of the better characters of this mod. She has a nice resistance to ailments. I think about uh, 75% against all ailments, and uh, her uh, skills, uh, passive and uh, support, are pretty good too. I'd like to mention the passive skill first. Hacker Vision. With Hacker Vision, uh, Mackin can see the combination of buttons that need to be pressed or unpressed, uh, the key combination that must be typed in and stuff, uh, all without having to, uh, to reference uh, a key code or something on the, some part of the level. Now the uh, support skill I activated at the start of the level is Tri Blitzkrieg. Tri Blitzkrieg allows Mackin to ignore 75% of an enemy's defense, so Mackin can still deal damage to an enemy even if the enemy's defense is greater than uh, her attack power. Really handy, yeah. So, uh, you don't have to worry about leveling her uh, attack power uh, much since you can use Tri Blitzkrieg. The other skill I like to mention is uh, Tri Booster. What it does is, uh, when used on a party member, uh, it allows them to do 25% more damage to enemies, plus uh, they take 25% less damage uh, from all attacks. However, it is time-based, and it will wear out. I think the uh, time is uh, about 15 seconds. However, you can stack try booster, so that means uh, you can cast it multiple times on one character and uh, give them many more seconds of a try booster oh anyways uh, the voice actor for uh, Mac and Shankara also did the voice for Lisa Bates a previous character which I used and the voice actor is a uh, Vero Chan once again uh, so I'm giving a shout out to her right here right now thank you for voicing Mac and Shankara out there anyways uh, I'd like to talk about uh, what I've been up to in the past couple weeks. I've been away to Niagara Falls with my parents, uh, mostly uh, just for the uh, casino. Falls View Casino to be exact. To be honest, uh, I wasn't quite lucky because uh, I walked away with uh, less money than uh, what I uh, withdrew from the bank uh, throughout all the times I visited. So one time, I had quite a lot of money uh, won from the slots. Like, uh, the slots were ringing like crazy! And uh, also, I did record another attempt at this uh, segment, but uh, unfortunately, a couple things uh, made it uh, not so good. Because, uh, for one, uh, the sound uh, was uh, skipping at a certain amount of seconds, and uh, I accidentally got a couple of the potted women uh, killed. One by uh, enemy fire and uh, another by uh, me accidentally shooting at it and uh, the game calling me a retard for it. Anyways, like, uh, back to the what's ahead. There is one item of importance I'd like to talk about once I get it. It's a very neat item for Ami Mizuno only, uh, which uh, allows her to do much more damage uh, to the enemies. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how it occurs. Now, uh, I find all the secrets in this level uh, easily. Uh, and of course, I, I rescue all the uh, captives as well. Now here, I activate Tri Booster multiple times on Mackin herself. Like, uh... It's hard for me to tell if I'm uh, doing any more damage uh, with Tri Booster on or not. 
But I know it's on because of the icon in the bottom right. Right beside uh, the icon for Tribe Blitzkrieg. <clears throat> now here, uh, I dawdle a bit and, uh, and I try to go through the door at the end uh, without realizing I have to uh, hit the switch in the wall uh, at the room where the enforcers uh, burst out at. Right here. And I have to hit the switch there to open that door. And I encounter invincible enemies here. But fortunately, I don't get killed by those particular ones. Although, it was real embarrassing getting killed by an assault commander at the end of the level. Oh yeah, and that uh, computer with the uh, nuke symbol uh, shown on there for desktop? That's the Mercury Supercomputer. It's an Ami Mizuno item, which uh, basically uh, shows the weak spots of enemies uh, when uh, Ami is using her Mercury Vision goggles. So essentially, enemies are taking much more damage uh, from Ami when she has the Mercury Vision goggles on. And the damage will pile up uh, depending on where Ami is. So uh, she's going to be doing a whole lot of damage when she's in her civilian form, underwater, and has the Mercury Vision goggles on while uh, the Mercury Supercomputer is collected. And here, this is where Mackin dies. <sighs> Stupid invincible enemies. So yeah, I have to revive her and uh, give her armor, but uh, I stop using her at this point. So, I use Jack Walker to do some final cleaning up in the level and uh, also take care of that assault commander which killed Mackin at the end of this level. Like, I was at the end of the level and uh, an assault commander had to go and uh, kill her with invincibility. Uh, guess you can't stop that from happening and uh, I was so close to the end anyways that it didn't matter. So next time in Nafir's Reign, Invasion of the Dark Mistress talk through, Bubsy Bobcat takes on the next level of this episode. Later! Action.